Hi friends. Starry's new apartment life. <laughs> Just bringing you along today. Um, so I've been calling Les Swab. This, this kills me. I've been calling Les Swab, trying to get in to get rid of my snow tires. Yeah, to have them change. But you know what? And they do it for free. The other place charges $25. And calling, calling, they're always busy, always busy. So, you know what? It's, it's like, it's time. It's like summer is like here, uh, not summer, but you know, spring is here. And um, sometimes you just gotta take the bull by the horns and do it yourself. So I'm gonna change my tires, all four. You know, I did them last year um, when I was up in the homestead. Uh, my tires were on for a long time and I kept telling Mr. Hilder I know, I shouldn't mention his name, but I kept saying, you know what, how long have we been driving around with these tires on? Yeah, 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 yeah. So finally one day, um, yeah, like halfway through the summer, we're going to change them. And, um, yeah, he, he, he kind of made me change them, which was good because um, I, I needed to learn. I needed to know how to do this, um, not knowing that one day I would be the single female changing my tires. It's a good skill to know, and I'm going to bring you guys along and show you how I do it. Um, but we're going to the dump today, too. Look at this. Where does this all come from? I don't know where it all comes from, but hang on, hang on. Mario? Mario? Mario, want to come? Yeah, well, come on. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Hello. So here we go. He doesn't get a ride right now because this thing is filled up. But we're going to go get the car, and we're going to change some tires. What do you think they're better? So here's the thing that we, we do kind of forget when it comes to, you know, homesteading. People want to do this homesteading life. And uh, it's not just about growing your own food. It's not just about, uh, you know, um, hunting. It's not just about uh, dehydrating and, and um, compost toilets. It's about stuff like this. You know, uh, learning and knowing how to change your tires. Knowing how to uh, put the chains on. Um, you know, when you're, you're, you're in a predicament, um, you know, knowing how to run the tractor when, uh, it's time to run the tractor, right? You know, it's the front end, the back end and all, all of that. So, you know, there's equipment, um, that you need to learn how to use and handle. And, uh, yeah, as a, as a woman, you need to be a Jill of all trades. You can say a Jack of all trades, but you need to be a Jill of all trades. You know, um, see, look at, I, I bring, you should have an inverter in your car. You know what's so nice about having an inverter? Because no matter where you go when you're camping, um, you got electricity. Not that I need electricity, but um, I got, that's mine, I got to take that. That was kind of nice that I got to take that. So, okay, now I'm gonna, this is, this is my secret compartment. Underneath here is my jack and all my stuff. So it actually looks like the, the mice have made a home. I was always wondering what the deal is. But uh, you should always make sure in your car that you have a spare and it's fully inflated and you've got all the right equipment and you know how to use it. I've used this several times. Trust me, this isn't my first rodeo. All right, so I'm on level ground and what I'm going to do is go right underneath here and put this on the frame. And then I'm gonna lift it up. On Subarus, if you look, there's a slot there, and you got to get it right on that slot. And, you know, a lot of this equipment that they provide is just crap. I'm just going to say it. And, in fact, um, I bought a very nice uh, thing to, you know, tire iron. Didn't get that. So I guess that's going to be on my list of things to buy. Darn it all. And it was a really nice tire iron. I have no tire iron. I've got the one that's provided for. By the miracle of God, I moved a nut. It's working. See? Think outside the box. You can get it done. Look at that. Look at that. There's one that's actually, oh, I can't believe it. And because I remember. Hmm. 
<laughs> I just need a hammer. And where did Mario go? Did he abandon me? Where, where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. He's, I thought you abandoned me. I don't need a man. I don't need, I don't need the swab. I'm getting it done. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. Just think outside the box, my friends. There you go. I got one down. And then you just got to take that off. Remember, there's going to be a little drop. Look at that. All right. Pick a tire. Any tire. All right. I don't think it makes any difference which goes where. At least I don't think so. All right, and then, and then putting this on. There you go, and then you just get those nuts on there loosely, and I tighten them with my hand as much as I can. And the bottom's always gonna wanna pop out a little bit, so I usually put my foot like that on there. And then I get the bottom. All right, and I'm just throwing this out here for you women. You don't need AAA, because what happens if you lose cell service? You don't need less swab. You don't even need a man passing by to help you. All you need is a tire iron, carry a hammer, and a jack. And you better learn, teach yourself how to change a tire. Because if a girl, I'm a chick, a girl with dreads, and I've got my little skirt on, can do it. Look, I even got my muscle shirt on today to make me feel strong. <laughs> I don't think that's help, helping. I think actually it was the, the hammer that's helping. But you know what? Improvise. Learn how to do this. You know, we talk about, you know, there's a lot of single women out there that want to do homesteading stuff, right? This is part of it. We need to take care of our vehicles. And you know what? One day, AAA is not going to be there. One day, less swab is not going to be there. Okay? I'm just saying, you could be in, it's stuck in a snowstorm and have to change your tires. Be prepared. See? You know, I gotta film this stuff so people can actually see that, you know, there's no cutting, there's no editing, there's no like guy in the background, there's no, there's no triple A guy here. This is, this is Starry, this is Starry doing it right here. Right here, my friends. There we go. That, right here. I'm setting the camera up. Real life. Remember, left loop. There, a nut for a nut, right? <laughs> a nut for a nut. Don't, 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 don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm getting dirty. Don't, don't be afraid, women. You know, that's what those squirts are for. Manual labor. Right? It's not about looking pretty. It's about being functional. Wow. Tire number four. See, just think about this. I didn't have to wait at a, a dealer or a car place. And, and I am... Very impatient. I am. So if I can do it myself, I'm gonna do it myself. You gotta put some some muscle into it. You gotta put your full body weight in there. At least to get you down the road so you can stop at a place later on, a garage, and have them tighten up your 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 lug nuts. Because you're never gonna be able to get them on as tight as they should be. So when you're done with changing your tires, and look at that. Ha! Huh, four tires. Uh, make sure you go to a garage. 
uh, soon and get those lug nuts, nuts tightened. Because I don't care who you are, even if you're a guy and you look really strong, um, they take a, a special tool and they really get them on there tight because you don't want those loosening up. But look at that. Less than an hour, changed four tires, and yeah, not bad, huh? Not very dirty. Look at that. Yeah, so there you go. Starry changing a tire um, on my homestead. Yeah, my apartment homestead. Getting it done. Getting it done. But there you go. Men, women, if you don't know how to change a tire, it's part of homesteading. And now you know because Starry showed you. And look at little Mario. <laughs> He's like bored to death. <laughs> All right. God bless you, friends. I'm glad you could join me for um, my little adventure today. And now we're going to the dump. The highlight of my life. The dump.